Well, it's January 1st, and we're beginning our walk through the Bible in one year together with little three-minute clips every day on Facebook. Now, today, your Bible reading, as you'll notice, is not long. You have two chapters in Genesis, one chapter in Matthew, one chapter in Psalms, and then, of course, as many Proverbs as you'd like to read. I'd encourage you to read a chapter a day. You can finish the book of Proverbs every month. That's 12 times in one year. But let's just take a little thought today from Genesis chapter 1. In Genesis chapter 1, we find the creation. We find this is how God starts something. We always want to know, how do I begin something new? Most people, because they don't know how to begin something new, they, they pick up something old and they try to renovate it or refurbish it or make it better and they think that that's a shortcut. But in actuality, when you pick up something old and try to reuse it, too often you find you're putting new wine in old wineskins and all you do is destroy. When God starts something new, first of all I want you to notice that God starts from zero. In verse 1 it said the earth was formless, empty, darkness covered the entire surface of the deep. God started from nothing. So never be afraid to start from zero. But then as you go through chapter 1, notice some principles very quickly. You notice that God creates with his spoken word. Then he looks at things. How many times does it say saw? I mean, every day he saw verse 3, verse 10, verse 13, verse 21, verse, verse 31. I mean, every time you turn around, God is looking. He is evaluating what he's done. So not only must you start something new with creating it and doing the work, but you need to build in constant evaluations. For God, he evaluated at the end of every day. God separated things in verse 6, verse 11, verse 21, verse 18. God learned to separate different kinds of things. So as you're doing your development, you have to learn, how to, I have to make some separations in this. You have to learn to establish boundaries. God established boundaries for the sky. He established boundaries for the oceans. God established boundaries. God establishes everything with a purpose in verse 11. And you go through repetitively in chapter 1, you see the words so that or the words to or for the purpose of. Everything God does, he creates with a purpose. But I also want you to notice that everything God does, he creates in a way that is self-healing and self-replicating. God does not play the Chinese juggler game of spinning plates. Everything God does, he does it once, and then after that, it reproduces itself. That is how we must learn to work in this world. Not always spinning plates, but, but doing things one time, as Paul would say, pass these things on to faithful men who will be able to teach others. So that instead of always having to teach everybody yourself, you've got others teaching the same truths. Everything we need to learn to do must be done in a way that is self-healing and self-replicating. Now, every day we're going to see you. I'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.